I'm back from vacation, and it's been a while since my last top video. What better list to count down than deciding from easiest to hardest of the special infected in Left 4 Dead 2? We'll be starting from the easiest special infected to master to the most difficult. We'll be taking into consideration not only how hard it is to use the playable mutants, but the difficulty of using them effectively to take down the opposing survivors and create better synergetic attacks to maximize damage, and we're going to throw in some tips as well. And remember, take everything with a grain of salt or get high blood pressure from your sodium intake and die of cardiac arrest or aka be salty. Before we start the list, one of my good friends Cake Slayer from our speedrun death races has started his own YouTube channel full of Left 4 Dead, Dark Souls, and Mass Effect content. So be sure to check him out and drop him a subscribe by following the link in the description or by going to my Wow Such Friends playlist. Now, on to the list. Number 7, we're starting off with the Smoker. Relatively easy to use. After a few plays, throughs you'll come to realize that the smoker was designed as a sniper infected and not for anything else. Just climb a wall or hide in some foliage and fire off the tongue when your circle turns red. If you attempt to smoke a survivor within a short distance, you'll come to quickly realize that you're gonna have a bad time. Sniping from a high perch allows for a safer attack while most of the other infected who have to get up close and personal are probably gonna get gunned down pretty quick. Pulling a survivor over a ledge or in front of a barreling charger is also crucial to getting a team down fast and easy. Although doing so is the easiest way to end cap a survivor since you're a smoker. Considering there are no other components of the smoker to master besides aiming and hitting the fire button, it can be an easy time to get mastered. Number 6, the Jockey. Left 4 Dead 1 Special Infected had one issue that made it hard for a well-executed attack. Pulling a survivor away from the group in order to create more chaos, the Jockey is a key component of separating the survivors in any desired direction. He's one of the hardest to hit, I can tell you that. The Jockey is one of the hardest Special Infected to also gun down in a stressful situation thanks to his smaller stature and hippity-hoppity nature. Not only that, but simply landing or jumping near a survivor's head instantly mandates a latch on. All you have to do is wait for an opportunity to find a survivor all alone or separated from the flock and go leap crazy. Just make sure to aim upward a little bit to get a successful jockey ride on Ellis. Most of the time, players will be missing their shots in a panicked fire. The recharge rate after downing survivor is well over 15 seconds and it can cause the jockey to run away scared, but this can be counteracted with a little finesse and a qu quicker recharge rate, either by being meleeed off by a different survivor, having your ma meals taken away from you by a different special infected, or jockeying off someone a ledge, which is also a crucial part of a jockey's portfolio. Being able to down a survivor that quickly, A+. Plus. Never, get, never forget to watch out for special infected scratches, as they can kill you instantly mid-jump. Number 5, the spitter. The sexy portion of the infected who void their juices then run away. The spitter requires a bit more finesse than the last two. You can't just go and spit in front of the survivors and just hope they'll take a nosedive into the green Nickelodeon slime. Waiting for the right time to spit on the survivors while they're being pinned, boomed on, being slowed by a horde of commons, or in a survivor attempting to pick up their fellow downed comrade, in most cases the spitter must act like the smoker and find an area out of the line of view of the living in order to remain alive and execute better and consistent attacks. Spitters leave an extra pool of spit in order to damage unsuspecting players who hastily try to run past the original pool of spit or at a choke point that can really do some damage. While spitter damage damage is the quickest way to down a survivor, tacking on to another special infected's attack isn't the hardest to pull off. Just don't go full Mardi Gras on us when you're playing as a spitter, alright? That is the scariest fucking thing I have ever seen in my entire life. Number 4, the b -b 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 boomer One of my personal favorites, the Boomer is in the same league of the Spitter when it comes to low survivability, but high value due to their capabilities to disorient the survivors. Tiptoeing in or booming the survivors from a long distance takes some skill since our fat buddy likes to be obnoxiously vocal. Taking into account the blindness the vomit causes is probably the most important part of attacking the enemy team, so the distancing infected like the Charger and Jockey can properly separate the people and kill the living. Discovering the amount of time the vomit lasts and how it arcs is a a difficult learning curve that is very needed in order to cover the four opponents. While the 30 second recharge of the vomit could seem like an eternity, if the opportunity arises, don't forget his special ability of being shot and exploding, which can restart the festivities of puke and vomit when you blow up like a festered zit. Just learn how to vomit like a sprinkler and you'll be on easy street. Oh, well, this should be easy. <laughs> 
must be the feller who masturbates all day long. Number three, the Charger. One simple thing, Insta kills. Many levels have them, and the Charger has the ability to instantly kill survivors simply by charging them off a cliff or steep area. Now, that may seem easy, but it takes precise timing and predetermining where the Charger will be relative to the survivor during the charge. Practicing on the first chapter of Dead Center is always good. Pro tip, the Charger also serves as a mini tank on the field since his secondary fire causes 10 points per scratch. This little fact is beautiful amongst a group of red health survivors, but due to the sheer size of the Charger and the fact that the Charger cannot let go of a survivor till their death or nearby explosion occurs, someone must be ready to take them a long distance or else a hellfire of bullets will quickly dispense the lonely teenager on a Friday night. Keep your right hook strong, Mr. Chargy. <laughs> Number two, the Hunter. I debated this with my friends and came to the conclusion that the Hunter is actually quite difficult to master, if I do say so myself. Learning to leap off walls in a hasty situation can be a little difficult, and it's even harder to land a high damage Hunter pounce from way up high. The Hunter is also allowed to hunt without any recharge time, causing him to disorient and panic the survivors just by leaping around nearby, proving to be a great distraction, maybe for the boomer to sneak in for a good blah, 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 blah. Using his screaming to scare the survivors is one thing, but when he's not crowded, his pure silence works perfectly for a stealthy scratch on weak enemies, which many don't take into account as they prefer jumping like a cricket. The hunter's initial pounce leaves it wide open for gunfire, so somebody has to really find a lone survivor or ignored survivor to maximize the damage. Pro tip, the hunter is the only special infected who gets enhanced by being on fire. You do faster damage while on fire and pouncing, so use it to your advantage. Number one, the tank. Who else would take the number one spot besides the king of zombies, the tank? These days, everyone knows how to easily disperse the roid rage leg day skipping hulk by just running to an open area and readying their molotovs. The best thing about the tank isn't his beefed up arms, but his ability to chunk massive rocks at enemies and smash debris at survivors to instantly end cap them. But doing so is one of the hardest things to master in Left 4 Dead. Throwing rocks varies between two different types of rock throws. One being an underhanded throw that comes from a low angle that could be obstructed by obstacles in the way, leaving him wide open, and an overhanded throw that can have a longer distance to smack Shell. Noticing this animation is key to a successful, super effective rock throw. As for the toys that Tank plays with, like dumpsters, cranes, and many other vehicles, the size, shape, and angle of the debris varies with each strike depending on the angle you hit it at. Now, if you take these variables into account, smashing an unsuspecting survivor or cornering them with your little toys will make for a deadly tank. The tank can also take out Paige out of the Smoker and Spitters books and remain on the rooftops to snipe survivors with his rocks to weasel out anybody hearing Molly. But you can't stay away for too long. If your rage meter depletes, you're going to lose control to the next available teammate who's probably going to suck or the AI who will absolutely rush in and die. So, making sure to stay within the line of sights of survivors and landing rock throws is a must because it can recharge your meter every time you land a successful hit and as long as you're within the line of sights, your meter will not go down. While also, you want to coordinate with other special infected to down the fire carrier so a melee exclusive tank will have a safer and easier time of dispersing the survivors. The tank was made for bummer but don't do what it was designed for. Fully mastering this massive muscle is the most difficult due to his one-time use during each chapter and ability to absolutely shrek a team. Be good with the tank, you're gonna get praise. Absolutely F it up and you'll be getting the shape of Italy. Wee oui, wee. Oui. Well, there you have it. The list is done with some advice thrown in to maybe help out along the way. Were the hardest on this list actually pretty easy for you to use? Or maybe you have a harder time with the jockey on latching survivors. Let's have a debate, a civil one, mind you, in the comments. We'll be doing every mutation from here on out, so let us know what mutation you want us to play next. And don't forget to subscribe to Kate. Until next time, this is Wild Such Gaming. I'm Zachass, and stay wow!